What is going on folks? I thought I'd do another live video today. I hope everyone is well and can see me and hear me. Just waiting for a few people to come on and we'd have a good little chat. Set the camera up perfectly. Hope that's okay. It looks okay. Hey, Philip, how's things? Roblox Star One, how are you? Vincent Cock, how are you, young man? Thank you so much for joining me tonight. How is everybody today? I hope you can all hear me and I hope the camera is shining very nicely on my face. My light's okay, I think. Roblox, how are you? You very good, 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 good. And Lee, how are you? Yeah, I'm all well. Thank you so much for asking. And Jimmy Barnes is on, the good old friend Jimmy Barnes. Thank you so much for ch ch uh, jumping on tonight, Jimmy. Hope everyone is well today. I thought I'd do another live chat to everybody and uh, Kane, have you got any pops this week? Kane, um, I can't remember which pop zone that is not going on. There you go. So that's my spinner plate all ready and rumbling. Um, my pleasure, mate. Sorry I've missed a couple recently. Not a problem whatsoever, Jimmy. Um, that is absolutely fine by me. So I hope everyone is doing well. What pops have I got recently? Um, let me think. Which pops have I got recently? Change on this show you've seen. Um... I can't remember which pops I unboxed for you folks, but I did do a few videos over the weekend and last weekend. I hope you like them all. My stream is lagging a bit. Ah, that is such a shame. Hope it's, uh, hope it's going okay now. Is anybody else getting lagging from this video? I hope not. Uh, where, uh, from Lee, where did you get the Skull Rider from, the one on the spinner? I got that spinner one, the Ghost Rider, from... Oh God, I can't remember where I got it from now. I think I got that from Forbidden Planet um, International when it was uh, on the go. Let me just zoom out because I think it zoomed in slightly. Oh, God, I don't want to get that. Wow, there you go. That's a bit better. So I think I got that Ghost Rider from Forbidden Planet International. When the website was up and running, of course, it's gone down now. I think you can only get it from Forbidden Planet. But yeah, this is the Glow in the Dark um, Ghost Rider. Uh, he's pretty cool. One of my best rides I've got in my collection. Um, it's the same motorbike as the Dower Dixon above in the Walking Dead collection. Um, but yeah, it's a pretty cool looking pop. Uh, Steve, I bought 12 pops in space of four days. I, I'd made some, some good money selling some mini discs though. Oh, fantastic, Jimmy. 12 pops in four days. How cool. Um, I hope you got some amazing ones. I can't wait to check out your video then if you've got 12 pops. And he sold some mini discs as well. Ah, oh, you've sold your pride and joys. It's 15 quid in Forbidden Planet, Glow in the Dark one as well. Oh, fantastic, Kane, there you go. There you go, Lee. Uh, Kane's just answered the question for you. You can get it in Forbidden Planet, the Glow in the Dark, Ghost Rider behind. I didn't know if it's still for sale, but of course it must be. Um, Lee, what was your first pop? Um, my first ever pop in my collection was the Alien Queen I got from my sister. And I'll get that one down from you now. I will get any pop you ask for, Dan, and show you all. But this is my first pop I received from my sister. This was the Alien Queen. Uh, it's a wicked looking pop. So much detail in this. And this is got what got me started in my collection. She gave me this as a gift. And then the second pop I got was the Iron Man over there. And then from then on, I just kept buying and buying and buying. So that was my first pop. I ever, ever, ever got. And that was from my sister, the Red Head of Funko, folks. If you haven't heard of the Red Fun Red of Funko, the Red Head of Funko, she is my sister and she's on YouTube. She's got some amazing Funko Pops in her collection. So please check her out after this video. I'd be much appreciated. Let's check some of these messages. Can you show your T Dog Funko Pop from Walking Dead from Philip? Yeah, of course I can. No problem at all, Philip. So the T -da T Dog is just here. Hopefully it's not gonna. Yeah, there you go. Absolutely perfect. Do you know what? T-Dog is an awesome looking Funko Pop, actually. Uh, this is T-Dog just here. I'll get the camera focusing a bit better on T-Dog itself. Hope you can see him. So he's got a gun in his hand and like, um, I can't remember what you call these, like wire cutters, shall we say? If I can get the camera just focusing sli slightly on T-Dog itself, uh, it's not really making much focus on him, but he is, he is a pretty cool pop. I, I really like this pop. Um, I think he was about 15 pounds what I got him for. It's a shame he's not still in the series. Spoiler alert, by the way, folks, sorry. But that is T-Dog. 
he's a, look, a good looking pop. Um, do you know what? He's got the same face as, um, oh, what's his name? I can't think of his name now, but look at his face compared to his face. It's exactly the same. He's got a moustache and, and a beard as well. I think they just copied it myself. But yeah, that's, so that's, that's T-Dog. Let's put him back in the shaft. Any more pops you want me to grab down, folks? I'm more than welcome to grab down for you and show you. On my live video today, my spinning plate has stopped working. I just want to spin that. There you go. Hey, Rach Kappa's on. How you doing, Rach? Thank you so much for joining me on my live video tonight. Uh, Jimmy Barnes, ah, just a few that I knew I would get a good many for it. I'd never sell them all. I've put up three videos of my pops I've recently since my big binge. Oh, great, Jimmy. I must have uh, missed them. I've got to check them out afterwards. Folks, please check out Jimmy Barnes after this. He's an awesome YouTuber and he's so funny. Vincent Cog. So I have about 20 pops, but I don't know how to display them. Don't want to spend too much on displays. That's a, that's a really good question, Vincent. Um, I started off with a floating shelf below a TV, my TV on my wall. Um, you've probably seen the video I just put up on Sunday. I think it was Sunday or Monday I put it up. Um, yeah, so I just have a shelf, a uh, floating shelf. That's where I started from, and then I started growing and growing and growing. I didn't have much room for them, so I thought I'd buy these display cabinets above. And these are epic. They really, really are good. Um, I'm just running out of space. I'm running out of space. I need to get some more acrylic stands, I think, and start burning on the left-hand side and the right-hand side here. Um, or I might even invest in some more um, display cabinets and maybe put these above a little bit and put some more display cabinets below. But I have got a radiator below here. So I don't know if it's going to affect that at all, but it'd be pretty good. Um, how, how amazing would that look? A whole massive wall of display cabinets. That would look epic. Project Pops is on, folks. How are you doing, Project Pops? I know you're at work. Thank you so much for joining my live chat today. I hope I'm not getting you in trouble. Um, what do you think of the new DC Bombshells line and the Sour Patch Kids ones? Okay, so the DC Bombshells, I, I'm not into myself, so I can't really comment on that one the DC bombshells. I haven't got a clue what's in that range, um, but I can comment on the Sour Patch Kids. Um, do I like them? Um, not really. I don't really like that. I do like the Funko exclusive, the Sour Patch Kids. Sour Patch Kids? Yes, yeah, the Sour Patch Kids I'm all about. Yeah. Um, no, I'm not a big fan of them myself. Um, what do you think of them? What does everybody think of the Sour Patch Kids? Because I'm not a big fan of that range. I don't think Rach is on that. Rach is here now, isn't she? I don't think Rach likes them either. What is your newest Funko Pop from Simon Lloyd? My newest Funko Pop in my collection. Wow, I cannot remember which of the newest ones I've got. I get so many every day and I keep putting them out and I keep forgetting which ones I get. Um, oh, the newest one, I think it's got the leather face just over here. I'll just move the camera slightly so you can see it. It's the leather face. I got that from uh, a great, great YouTuber called Collecting together um, and they sent me this massive massive box full of Funko Pops and stuff that was the uh, leather face which is just up here with the uh, what was it called the I can't remember what you call it got the mask on like the it's pretty cool pop it's a pretty cool pop actually I quite like that one and there's another Funko Pop they gave me as well and I can't remember which one it was um, it was it was it was which one was it it was a Disney one wasn't it Oh, it was up here somewhere, I think I put it. Uh, I can't remember what the DuckTales one. So I think these are the two Funko Pops I got recently. Let's have a look at some more of these comments. So have you had any move around? Have you had a move around from Kane? Yes, I've had a little bit of a move around. But the thing is though, Kane, when as soon as I move one pop, um, it just doesn't match up. I mean, if I move this one here, I can't get another one fit in, its posi in the same position because they're the ones, for example, this hat could be a little bit bigger so that would fit in line with that Funko Pop. So if I move one, I have to move about three or four. So I moved a few around. I mean, I've moved these ones on these shelf here. So I put all my horrors on there now. Um, and I moved a few which was on here, down here. So I've got the Amy Winehouse just there as well. And it was supposed to be up here, but I moved that down. Um, this spinning disc keeps stopping and I'm going to smack it in a minute. But uh, yeah, I've moved a few around. I've moved a few around here as well. So oh, hopefully they look all right. What do you all think of that? Does, it, does that look all right to you? Uh, do you like any of the ECC ones from Simon? Yes, I do. The ECC ones. Uh, the Eyes Stark. 
How cool does that pot look? I mean, uh, I might be getting it. I don't know yet, and uh, maybe not. But this Aya Stark is the, definitely the one I definitely want to get. That pot. What do you think, Simon? Is do you think that you like the ECC ones? Because I really like the Aya Stark. Nico's on, folks. How you doing, Nico? Thank you so much for joining. Um, have you been to Belfast, from Nico? I've never been to Belfast. Um, I would love to go, but I've just never been there. I guess Nico. I guess you'll live there. But um, yeah, I've never been there. I think they've got a great Comic Con in Belfast, if I'm not wrong. Good day, good day. How's things, mate? From Aussie Mystery Pop. How's things, Aussie Mystery Pop? Thank you so much for joining today. I am all wow. Thank you so much for asking. Savvy Echo. How you doing, buddy? What's up, Funko UK guy? Where are you able to get? Were you able to get Aya Stark from ECCC? Hmm. It's, it's it's a secret. It's a secret. I may have got it. I may not. But I might get a new video. Putting up a new video of it if I do get it very shortly. So stay tuned. Big Inzies in the house, folks. Um, have you got the gold SpongeBob? Oh, I have this gold SpongeBob from Nico. Awesome, awesome, awesome looking pop. I had the gold SpongeBob before, but of course I got scammed. I sent loads of Funko Pops off to America and then the guy blocked me on Facebook. Um, and that was, I had the golden SpongeBob in there. He was supposed to send me a Funko Pop or a few different Funko Pops. I thought it was too good to be true. Um, I wish I never did it, but I, I did. I sent it off to him in a big box. And literally, as soon as I went to the post office and I took a picture of it saying it's been sent, he blocked me on Facebook and I just can't get hold of him. So uh, that's in the past, I know, but it's about six Funko Pops and I had the golden SpongeBob there. And that was an awesome looking pop. So well done, Nika, for having that pop. Uh, Jimmy, yes, make sure you watch my videos, mate. Ah, cheers, Steve. You've been a big inspiration to my channel on YouTube. Yeah, no problem at all, Jimmy. Your, your channel's awesome. So, folks, please check out Jimmy Barnes' channel. Awesome, awesome, funny guy. Um, can you get the Silver Jack-Jack one? Silver Jack, yeah, I can get him down. Not a problem at all. I guess you want about this one here. So, this is the Silver Jack-Jack just here. Um... I got him for £9.99, if I remember rightly, from Smith's Toys in the UK. He's a pretty cool pop. His head spins all the way around. Uh, he's got like pajamas on as well. So it, it is a cr pretty cool looking pop. I mean, I get pops quite often and just like get them out of the box, show you one and put them on the shelf. But as soon as I get them down and show you all up close like in a live video, I appreciate, appreciate them a lot more because I sort of look into the detail of the pop. And yeah, it's, it's a pretty cool looking pop. I like that one. Another one to my Disney collection. In Incredibles is Disney, isn't it? I'm sure it is. I'll put in this up there. It's a small little pop as well, which I like, compared to some of them, which is massive. Just to film a movie review, just uploaded it. Oh, Rach, oh, fantastic. Okay, I've got to check that out after doing the video. Thank you so much, Rach. I will ch definitely check that out. Uh, da, 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 da. Nope, I don't like them. They look weird. Oh, Rach. No, I don't like them. They look weird. Yeah, I guess you're on about the Sour Patch Funko Pops. Um, yeah, they look a bit weird, don't they? They look a bit cheap and easy to be manufactured. And uh, Yeah, I don't really like them myself. Wouldn't really collect the Sour Patch Pops unless I could pick one at very cheap. The sugar effect on them is pretty cool. Yeah, the Jimmy Barnes. Um, the sugar effect on the... Funko exclusive, uh, get my words out, the Funko exclusive look really good. The other ones, like the standard common ones, yeah, I don't think they look great. But yeah, I totally agree. They do look pretty cool in the, super, in the sugar effect. I got pops on the way from Rach Kappa. Oh, I know what pops you'll get and probably Harry Potter, but Harry Potter pops knowing you. Yeah, I love the Thor pop. Check it out. Yeah, I love the Thor pop. Oh, right. Okay, cool. Thanks, Simon. Are you going to Wales Comic Con, mate, from Simon Lloyd? Yes, I'm hopefully getting tickets very shortly with my sister, the Red of Funko. I'm going to Wales Comic Con. There's an awesome guy there. Um, his name's Sam, and he's out of the Jurassic Park, or Jurassic World, shall we say? Yeah, Jurassic Park. Um, I can't remember his name out of Jurassic Park, but he is going there. It costs £80 a signature. They're quite hefty. It's the most I've ever paid for a signature. Um, but I definitely want to get there and get him to sign a Funko Pop. I haven't got that pop in my collection yet. So as soon as I do, I'm going to be going there and getting assigned. Are you going there, Simon? I'll let to meet you. What do you think the best pop line is from... Um, 
I'm going to call you Lee because I'm not quite sure what to say your first name. Um, Ptolemy Lee, I think it is. Uh, best Funko Pop line, I think, is the Walking Dead line or my Game of Thrones line because I got the most of them. Um, so, yeah, I've got a lot of the Walking Dead Funko Pops and I think that is probably the best line in my opinion. What do you all think of the best lines? I mean, the Disney lines is really good too, the Disney, but they've got so many Funko Pops. Um, I prefer having these smaller collections, I think. And I mean, I know The Walking Dead isn't a small collection, but it's still one of my favourites because I got the most of it. I have around 20 pops, so I don't want to spend so much on displays. What, what to do? If you haven't got no money to spend on displays, literally the cheapest option, like I said, is just getting like display, um, getting like shelves, or even pop into like Wilkinson's in the UK. If you, if, if you can get into the UK, Vincent. Oh no, you're not. I think Vincent's in Netherlands, I think I remember rightly. Um, just get, um, I don't know if you've got an like, Ikea in, uh, where you live, Vincent, but they do like display cabinets, uh, like bookshelves, and they're quite cheap. So, I, you know, I recommend that. Fantastic Beast ones from Rach are awesome. I just say, Lee, it's fine. Okay, Lee, thank you so much. I definitely would. I watched, um, I watched, was, watch, um, watched. I watched, was was pop before and he bought a baseboard display case check it out and acts like two shelves mate i've seen them actually they've seen this uh, the baseball display cases they look great um, i just can't get them in the uk i was looking at them before i got these display cabinets they do look really really good i think you can get them in america but i cannot find them anywhere in the uk but i've definitely seen them they do look really really good rich copper the harry potter and the walking dead uh, i guess that's your favorite sets yeah, they, they are really, really good sets, Rach. I totally agree. Um, the Walking Dead has got some amazing Funko Pops, but like we've been talking before about it, um, I'm just after the rare ones now. And, you know, each rare one I get now is about 50, 60 pounds onwards. So it's quite hard. Actually, uh, I can't remember who asked me earlier about the new Funko Pops I got. I just realised the ones that I've got at the moment. The Sasha, the zombie Sasha, which is just here. Uh, I got the Governor as well, the bloody Governor, which is just up there. So that's the two Funko Pops I got recently. Do you mean Sam Neil? Yes, Big Ingsy. Yes, Sam Neil. If so, I definitely need to go and get my Dr. Grant Pop signed. Yeah, oh, Big Ingsy. It'd be amazing to catch up with you guys, like, up front and person instead of speaking to you on YouTube. But yeah, that'd be amazing. I'd probably be wearing my T-shirt and maybe jump over the top. Come over, say hello. If I'm not smiling, give me a slap. It'd probably be a long drive getting there. When's Wales Comic Con? Uh, from Hazzo. Wales Comic Con is in next month, 27th and 28th of April, if I'm, if I'm rightly. I'll be going on the Sunday. So if anybody is there on the Sunday, please come over and say hello. I'm a friendly guy. I'll be with my sister, the redheaded Funko, and we'd have a good little chat. Look forward to seeing you, mate. Yeah, Simon, awesome. Uh, what I'll be doing in the morning before I go to Wales Comic Con, um, I'll be putting a message on Instagram. So if you want to like Instagram message me when you're there, I come on over and come and have a chat and we have a drink. Who's seen Captain Marvel from Hazzo? No, I haven't seen Captain Marvel yet, Hazzo. Um, I've heard some good, good reviews about it. And um, what is it like? Is it any good? Uh, that Sasha looks awesome. Yes, Rach. Um, I don't want to make you jealous, Rach, but yeah, that's Sasha. Looks absolutely awesome. I totally agree. Amazing, amazing Funko Pop from Funko. Uh, and also the governor as well. The bloody governor. And that is the, I think it is the Fugitive Toys. I can't remember where the box is. Yeah, I think it's the Fugitive Toys exclusive. And that pop looks awesome too. I'm a big sucker for uh, Walking Dead pops. I really am. You remembered it right. Netherlands, I am going to Dutch Comic Con on Sunday, probably going to buy lots of pops from Vincent Cock. I thought it was the Netherlands, dude. I really did. Um, awesome. I, I hope you find some amazing pops. Message me on Instagram as soon as you find some pops. I'd be really, really interested to find out what you get. Uh, Liam Downs, hi, I didn't know you were streaming. Yes, Liam, thank you so much for joining my channel tonight and my live stream. Um, much appreciated. Yes, I've just literally started streaming about 20 minutes ago. My mouth is growing dry already and I've got my drink downstairs. I didn't even bring it up. What an idiot. 
Um, I can't wait for the end game and the end game pops to come out from Kane. Ah, uh, do you know what? That trailer looks absolutely great, doesn't it? The end game. It really does. I mean, I love uh, the Avengers, all their movies. As soon as they're on TV, I've got to watch them. They look really, really cool. Has anybody watched the new Toy Story trailer yet? Toy Story 4 trailer? Because if you have, what do you think about it? Because I'm not that into the new trailer, to be honest. I don't think it looks as good as it should. Watched uh, from Hazo. watch Captain Marvel. He's really good. Five stars recommended by me. Oh, great. Five stars. Is that five stars out of ten? Or is that five stars out of five? Five stars. Hazo gave it five stars. Awesome. Just got a new pot from my brother Eugene from The Walking Dead. Eugene's a great, great pot, Philip. Well done. Nice one. Um, Eugene is um, up here somewhere. I cannot think of where he is. Oh, he's just here in the corner. Eugene. Yeah, he's still in The Walking Dead at the moment. Uh, he's a cool pop. I like him. I quite like every pop, actually. I keep saying cool to everything. I sadly can't go to Wales Comic Con, but maybe I see you somewhere else from Lee. Ah, oh, Lee, oh, it would have been great to see you. Uh, can you please tell how... Can, uh, from Stephen, can you please tell how to tell what year the Funko Pop comes from? Uh, thank you. That, Stephen, that is a really, really good question. I guess you want to know when they came out, yeah? So I don't know on the back of these boxes. I've got some boxes just here. So let's have a look. I think it does say somewhere about... i tell you what, if you are in the UK, go into an app. If you've got an Android phone as well, go into an app called the Pop Directory. And it does say in there, if you type in the Funko Pop, it will come up with that picture. And below the picture, it said the year of when it was um, made. I can't see it on that box about when it was made. Let's have a look at another box. I, I'm sure they do it a, like a year on these boxes. Okay, some do and some don't. So I'm not quite sure, mate. I'm not quite sure how you can tell. But what I would advise, if you just go into Pop Directory, uh, it does tell you on there. Um, but uh, yeah, I can't answer that question. That's a really, really good question. Uh, Solly Pop, please, by Liam. And I just got a... I just got a Pop from Marvel. I've got a Pop from Marvel. Awesome. Sully. Yeah, you love my Solly, don't you? I've got to get it down from him because he absolutely loves it. Sully is the flock Sully from Disney, of course, Monsters Inc. or Monsters University, should we say. Um, he is a nice little pop. He is flocked. If you don't know what flocked is, flocked is like a texture on Funko Pops. Um, he's got like two horns on top of his head. His little baby little teeth there. And this was Sully when he was like a young kid going to university. Um, he's a nice looking pop. He's a massive, massive pop as well. But he's got some great spots on the back, and I love his tail. But yeah, that is the Sully Funko Pop. And that is just for you, dude, because I know that you love, love Sully. And I think you keep asking to me to get him down, but that is the Sully Funko Pop, just there. Uh, the new Harry Potter Pops are coming out. Rach, oh, Rach, I bet you're well into them and getting all the Funko Pops, the Harry Potter Rangers. Yeah, the new ones are coming out soon, folks, the Harry Potter Rangers. They did it really, really good. Um, and I know that Rach should definitely be jumping on Bart board and getting all them Funko Pops because she is crazy. Everyone check out R Rach Kappa uh, on YouTube. She's got some amazing, uh, amazing Harry Potter collection. I think she said she's got 46, if I remember rightly, Harry Potters. Uh, she did send me a few pictures on Instagram and she, yeah, it's just an amazing collection. Liverpool Funko Zone, folks. Liverpool Funko, thank you so much for joining, mate. My man, yes, my man indeed. Look at this Liverpool Funko. How big is that Walking Dead collection now? I'm so sorry that you had to sell all your Walking Dead collection. Um, Liverpool Funko had an amazing, amazing uh, Walking Dead collection, but he sold them all. He's going away at the end of the year to Thailand, I think he said, um, which is such a shame because his collection was awesome. Uh, but I think he's trying to get back into it again because I think he bought a... Uh, Bloody Maggie the other day, which I wanted to get, but it was £65, so uh, he grabbed that one before I grabbed it. Yeah, same, I think that pop looks good. Oh, cool, Kane. How many Marvel pops do you have from John? Oh my gosh, John, someone asked me this the other day. 
how many Marvel and DC pops I've got. And I really do not know the difference between DC and Marvel. I am rubbish at finding that one out. Um, and I can't tell you how many I've got in this collection in Marvel or DC. Uh, but if you can see and count them uh, and let me know, that'd be great. But I don't know. I, I think they're all on this sort of section here. I don't think there's anything over here. Now it's my Game of Thrones and Disney above. Just in this section here, my Marvel and uh, I've got a couple of Marvel here. I think they're Marvel and a couple down here, but I'm not too sure. To be honest, I haven't seen the trailer yet. Uh, I guess you're about the trailer for Toy Story 4 and maybe a bit behind here, folks. If I am, I am sorry. Uh, trailer for Toy Story 4. Yeah, I was a little bit disappointed in myself. Um, but yeah, you guys make your own mind up. See what you think. Uh, five out of five from Hazo. Five out of five. How awesome. Thank you so much, Hazo. Uh, five out of five from Marvel. Uh, Marvel. Captain, Captain Marvel, I think it is, isn't it? Um, how do you people have the spanner next to their name. Okay, so I put a spanner next to some people's name because they're admin on my YouTube channel. Um, it's people who always come into my channel. I don't want people spamming my channel on like rubbish or calling me names or stuff like that. So the spanner is like an admin. Um, I can't do it through my phone, but I can do it afterwards on YouTube. So yeah, if I see you on here and you write some good stuff against it and uh, uh, with me, I would add you as admin next time. So yeah, that the spanner is like an admin. Uh, where, uh, Hazel, where is Wales Comic Con? Wales Comic Con is in Wrexham in Wales. Wrexham, it's, um, from me, it's about two hours journey. Uh, if you think of Birmingham in the UK, it's probably approximately about an hour and a half away from Birmingham. Uh, it says on bottom, for example, T'Challa. It should say Funko LLC 2018 from Liam. Oh, right. Okay. I T'Challa. Uh, T'Challa? I'm not quite sure what T'Challa is. Is that like a saying they say? I'm not too sure. Um, begins the I'll be at Birmingham Comic Con this weekend, both days, wearing my amazing big Inzy cap. If anyone else is going and you notice me, feel free to say hello. Oh, great. How amazing. I can't get to Birmingham Comic Con. So, of course, work always gets in the way. Um, I may be going to wear, uh, Birmingham Comic Con again this year because I think they've got Collector Mania coming up. Uh, I don't know if Collector Mania is this weekend actually, but they've got Collector Mania and MCCM or MCM, I think it's called. So I might be going to one of them, but I can't get to this one. But yeah, check out Big Inzy, folks, in Birmingham Comic Con. Uh, are you going to MCM this weekend? Oh, there you go from Ryan. It is MCM. Um, Ryan, I can't make it. Uh, work is getting in the way. I can't make it, unfortunately. But I will be hopefully going to Wales Comic Con. Um, that is coming up next month. And I'll be doing a video one in there as well, folks, with the rest of Funko. So I'll be going around with her and we'll be chatting away and be showing some Funko Pops, which is there. Vincent Cog, are you married? Yes, I am married. I've got my wife. She is at work at the moment until 10 o'clock at night. But yes, I am married. I've been with her for 13 years, I think now. Ryan C. Hey, Steve. How you doing, Ryan? Thank you so much for joining my live chat tonight. I've got 74 Harry Potter Pops and six Fantastic Beats from Rach. Oh, my gosh. You know, I, I have 46 in my mind for some reason, but 74. Oh, my gosh. I have to go, sadly. Bye. Lee, thank you so much for joining again, fella. Um, it's a pleasure to chat to you tonight. Thank you so much. Hope you have a good night, if you're still here, that is, if I'm not that far behind. Um, got a Street Fighter chase yesterday from Kieran. Awesome! Which street, street Fighter chase did you get, Kieran? What do you think of Ezekiel? Um, Ezekiel, what is in a pop? Because Ezekiel pop looks awesome. Just here, folks, there he's with us, got a cane in his hand. Um, I want his tiger. I think it is called Shiva. Shiva is his tiger. Oh, man. If anybody's got that and they want to send me that or send me it, I'd be in your debt because I want that Funko Pop. But I do think uh, Ezekiel is awesome. He's a really, really good looking pop. So that's what I think about Ezekiel. Gemma, Sadie, thank you so much for joining tonight. Much appreciated. Uh, Nicola, Nicola, damn, only just seen this, sorry, watching now. Awesome, Nicola, thank you so much for joining my live chat tonight. I've only been streaming for 30 minutes. I'm probably going to be on for another 30 minutes, an hour maybe. But I thought I'd show off my Funko Pops. Have a good chat to you all. Um, just relax, chill out, have a nice cup of coffee whilst I'm just jumping up and down and showing you all my Funko Pops. 
Ebot, I'll be back in a minute. Yeah, no props, Ebot. You looking on adding to your Breaking Bad collection? Love to start Breaking Bad collection from Liverpool Funko. Yes, I always keep an eye out for, for my Breaking Bad. Uh, at one stage, a lady um, close to me was selling a uh, the Blue Heisenberg, and I think she sold it for £25. This was going back about a year and a half ago now, and I just got there when she sold it. And so gutted, I was so gutted. That pop is going for about £60, I think that is, £60, £70. Pounds. Um, will I be getting more? I definitely will be. I'm just always keeping an eye out for them. I've got uh, six, I think, in my collection at the moment. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. I've got seven Breaking Bads in my collection. I will be getting more. I know that Jimmy Barnes, there you go, just focus it a bit. I know that Jimmy Barnes on here has got some wicked Breaking Bads and I haven't got them all. Um, but yeah, I will be adding them to my collection. There you go, a bit better. I've got the Chase Captain Marvel from Mankind. Oh, awesome. Chase Captain Marvel. Great job, Kane. Have you seen the new Thunderpops pop? I'm not sure about them. Yeah, do you know what? I seen them early on Facebook uh, when I was at work and I sort of scrolled through really quickly. And I think they were bringing about four or five Thunderbirds. And um, mm, do you know what? I, I don't think I'd be getting them myself, to be honest. I mean, would you guys be going for the Thunderbird pops? Um, to me, I don't think it would fit in my collection. Um, they look good if you're a Thunderbirds fan, mind. Oh my god, that's amazing. But I'm not a big Thunderbirds fan. My friend is, he, he loves the series. He's got the old, like, the old set where I think Thunderbirds 1 came out. I think it's like a Blue Peter, like what they did on Blue Peter. But this is like what you could buy in Toys R Us. It looks so cool. But I haven't got that. And I'm not really a big fan of Thunderbirds. So, no, I'm not, I won't be getting them myself. What is your profession, if you don't mind me asking, from Kieran? Um, I am a secret spy. I work for the uh, GCHQ, so I can't tell you what I do. Um, but I do, you know, if you ask me again, I would go out and... No, I'm only kidding. Um, I don't work for GCHQ. I'm not a spy. Um, I don't really want to be telling what I do on here. I, mean, I hope you don't mind me saying that, Kieran. Uh, but, um, uh, yeah, I, I, don't want to hear, I don't want to be saying that out loud and telling you what I do. But thank you so much for the question, though, Kieran. What is your cheapest bot from Liam? <laughs> Uh, I'm just thinking back on the question what I just answered from uh, Kieran. Sorry, Kieran. I just don't want to be answering that question, dude. Uh, what is your cheapest pop? The cheapest pop I bought? Wow, I can't remember what the cheapest pop I ever bought was. Probably about £5 from probably Smith's Toys, but um, I can't think. Maybe a Disney pop I got for like five quid from Facebook, but I can't think of it at the moment. Um, it may come to me in a minute. But I've got so many Funko Pops, I do lose track of where I get them from and how much they, how much they buy them for. So that's a good question, though. Nicola, love those display cases. Thank you so much, Nicola. I did put a video up the other day. Uh, actually, no, I, didn't. I put a video up the other day regarding um, how to start your Funko Pop collection. But I have got a video on my YouTube regarding my display cabinets. It was going back when I first started YouTube, going back about five months ago now. But yeah, these display cabinets are from Amazon or eBay, and you pick a thing up for about 35, 45 pounds, and just type in eBay or Amazon interlink cabinets, and they are on there. Um, they are flat packs, so you have to put them together, uh, but they're pretty easy. Um, I find them easy, and I'm not very good with DIY. Uh, T'Challa is Black Panther. Oh, great, Hazel, thank you so much for letting me know that. Awesome. Uh, wait, what does the admin, rank even mean if I may ask and um, the admin rank it's nothing really it's just a spanner on the side um, it still it stops people from spamming and saying bad things about people on here or putting like websites up or anything these these people which I've got admin I hope you don't mind me adding you as admin folks but if you're admin on here you could just stop it you could just delete their message off or just delete them all together so stop I can't, I can't delete messages on here on my phone um, and I can't add you as admin on my phone, but I can do it on a laptop and I can do it downstairs. So after I finish this, I might add Liam Downs on there as well and Hazo. You guys are aged, you're always on my live chat. It just literally gives you a bit of a um, bit of an admin over my channel, what I do. Uh, Vincent, someday I will have this massive and awesome collection like yours. Oh, Vincent, honestly, it just took me a couple of years, but I'm sure you would get there. 
I haven't got many. I've only got like 220 odd, I think now at the moment. A few more as well. I've got a few boxes here to unbox. Um, but I won't be doing it on this video. I got another one downstairs as well. So boxes are always coming to myself and I always try to do as many videos as I can. I just, I can't sometimes could put the majority of content out there because I work all day from like nine to eight or nine to six, come home, have tea and that's it. My day's over. I have a beer and it's gone. Uh, what do you think of this week's Walking Dead episode from Rach Kappa? <laughs> <laughs> That's just one thing for me to say. The Walking Dead episode this week was crap. I hated it. I got bored sickness. I didn't know what was going on. One day, one minute, like, Michonne was having a baby, and the next minute, she had the baby. She had, like, a bump in her stomach, and then she didn't. And I was like, what's going on? I don't get it. But what do you think of it, Rach? I didn't get it at all. I didn't really like it. Last week's a lot better. This week was, like, crap. Um, Kieran, it was a Street Fighter Ryu, 8-bit pop, not as popular as regular pop, but still a nice find. Great find, Kieran. Awesome, dude. Well done. Um, I changed my profile pic from Liam Downs. Yeah, I've noticed it's, a, it's like three leaves in it, or I don't know what it is. Three leaves, or I don't know what it is, Liam. Gotta go by. Thank you so much, Hazo, for checking my channel out tonight. Much appreciated if you are still here. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Um, Lil Fu, Lil Fu, is that, how do you say your name? Lil Fui, I guess. Which one from about 10 to 20 dollars is your favorite, if you got one? Uh, 10 to 20 dollars. So in UK, you're looking at about eight pounds to about 15 pounds. Which is my favorite pop in that range? Wow, I'm looking in the corner of my eye at all these Funko Pops at the moment, thinking which is the best one I got for about 20 quid? Uh, ah, that is a great question. For £20, probably the Breaking Bads, actually. I got them for around about £20, £10 to £15 each, uh, when they first, well, not when they first came out, but I bought them from a Facebook user. So I got these for about £10 to £15. They're really, really good price. And uh, what else do they get for about £10 to £15? The Chase, uh, Joker as well, I got for £15. He's an awesome but Actually, no, my favorite ones that just came to me then, so thank you so much for that great question, is these guys just here. This is the Woody, the Buzz, and the Shia Khan. I got these in boxes for £10 each. So that is my bargain of the month. Uh, actually, it was last month, but bargain of last month. These are £10 each. So that's the Woody, the Buzz Lightyear, and the Shia Khan I got for £10 each. So Lil Fu, there were the ones. P. Trividi. P. Trividi. If that is how you're saying your name, I hope I said it right. Hello, have a great day. Thank you so much for joining. Awesome. I'm getting some great people here tonight I've never seen before. I'm not a fan of them from Rach Kappa. I'm not a fan of them. Which ones are you referring to, Rach? I can't remember. Uh, which is your favorite? The Walking Dead pop. Sorry for much questions. Fill it. Not a problem at all. Keep firing away questions at me. I like the questions. So my favorite walking dead pop in this collection, and I'm gonna really rub it in Rachel now, because Rachel Kappa on here loves the walking dead and she's jealous every time I show it, but it has got to be this one here. This is the Freddie Funk called Dower Dixon. Ah, the 500 piece from the San Diego Comic Con. I don't know where all these noises are coming from tonight, folks. So I hope you don't mind. But this is the Dower Dixon San Diego Comic Con 500 piece. I bought him for 135 pounds, I think 104, I think it was 135 pounds from a Facebook user. I love this pop. How epic does this pop look like? And he is my favorite Walking Dead pop. If not him, and I gotta choose, oh, the bottom never fell out then. I picked that back up. If not him, and I gotta choose another Walking Dead, it has got to be the Herschel just here, the Scott Wilson Herschel. Signed by himself, Scott Wilson, at the Wales Comic Con. And um, going back about two years ago, I think, or last year when he went. This is before he passed away, sadly. And that is my second uh, favourite Walking Dead pop in my collection. When are you next going Funko Pop hunting from Simon Lloyd? Uh, you do know what? I want to go Funko Pop hunting more often. Um, as soon as I can, really. And if I don't do go Funko Pop hunting before Wales Comic Con, I'll be doing a video there for you folks and showing you that. And that'll be Funko Pop hunting then. 
Uh, Liam Downs, five pound from Smith's Toys. My Smiths are 10 to 15 pounds. Yeah, five pounds. You can pick up Funko Pops in Smith's Toys for five pounds, five to seven pounds. And they are usually about nine pound 99. Um, I love that Jamie Lannister, a golden hand pop, thinking of picking it up myself from Liverpool Funko. It's a great pop, isn't it? Liverpool, uh, Liverpool Funko. Uh, do you know what? I don't know where it is in this set. Where is it? Oh, it's up here. Can you see that? Let me just move the camera slightly. There you go. So that is the Jamie Lannister and the Golden Hand. Um, I got that from my sister, the Redhead Fungo. I did trade that for a Walking Dead uh, Well Walker, I think. Um, so yeah, it's a cool pop. She had that. She had no idea about Game of Thrones. So I said, would you trade it with me? And she's like, yeah, no problem at all. I don't, want, don't even want this pop. So yeah, that is the Jamie Lannister's cool. I think you should get it, Liverpool Funko. Definitely. And um, hopefully... I think these Game of Thrones pops, what I've got. I mean, I've got quite a lot in my collection. What do you all think? Um, I think these, well, I'm not in it for the many. Uh, don't get me wrong. I won't buy all these if I'm not, I'm not in it for many. But it's good to see them grow in prices. And I think the, walk, the Game of Thrones are going to go up in price. I'm sure they will as soon as the, the series finish. I mean, if I had chance, I'll buy the headless uh, Ned Stark. Because I know that it's going to go whoosh, skyrocket up. But for £1,400 on the box toys, pff, I'm not going to spend that much on it. But yeah, I think they are going to go up in price. I'm glad to help out from Rach. Yeah, thank you so much, Rach. So an admin is a security guard from Liam. Yes, it is. It is like a security guard, actually. Uh, it's a really good thing to say, actually, Liam. Yeah, it's a security guard. It's mostly just... It's like the bouncers behind me, just stopping all the spam and the crappy messages coming through. So yeah, I would, um, I would add you as a admin, Liam, as soon as I get off this. Are you here, Mangi, from, Lee, from Lil Fury? Are you here, Mangi? I'm not quite sure what you mean there, Lil Fury. Please message that again. I thought it was okay, got a little bit... Uh, I thought it was okay, got... Lost a little bit. Ah, uh, from Rach. I guess you're still talking about the Walking Dead episode. I got well lost in that, I gotta say. I mean, I, I couldn't understand it. I, I was like, oh, this episode is rubbish. I just couldn't get into it whatsoever. Uh, Vincent Cog, thank you so much for checking by. I'll see you later, dude. Oh, the, the Thunderbird pops. Ah, Rach, I understand now. Oh, folks, by the way, uh, if you do like, there's nine people on here at the moment giving me a a great time and giving loads of messages. If you do like my content, just do one thing and just click that like button, please. Much appreciated. Just takes one second of your time. I just got two likes and absolutely awesome. This means a lot to me when I see them likes go up as well. So if you don't mind smashing that like button, I'd be much appreciated. Funko Pop Ihana is on. I'm at work. Just wanted to say hello. How are you doing? Thank you so much, Funko Pop Ihana. It's great to see you again on my live chat. Nicholas Adams, thank you so much. Wow, I'm getting some amazing people on tonight. Nicholas Adams is in the house, folks. Wow. I wish I can get uh, my brother, Philip, those expensive ones. He would love that. Sadly, I don't make my money um, from Lil. There you go. From Lil. Uh, well, you know, sometimes you just have to be in the right, right place at the right time, uh, Lil. I'm going I'm to call you Lil, if you don't mind. Um, yeah, I picked up some pops on Facebook. Like I said, these ones behind are ten pounds each, and they're like fifty pounds each. I mean, it's just being at the right place at the right time. If I, I love a bargain, if I could see something on Facebook at a bargain price, pff, buy it straight away. Um, Patrick with candy cane, be like, who needs SpongeBob when you have candy? <laughs> Yeah, Spongebob a candy cane. How cool does that pop look? I hope you can see that behind all the other Funko Pops on this shelf. But it does look an awesome looking pop. I bought that last year from Smith's Toys again for £9.99. Um, it was like a Christmas special, I think, isn't it? If I'm not rightly wrong. Rightly wrong, is that even a saying? Um, I got Carol on eBay for £4 from Rach. Carol on eBay for £4. Was that even in the box, Rach? Because if it is... That is a bargain of a price. Well done. Can you stop talking about Walking Dead Pops, please? I can't take it. <laughs> oh, Liverpool Funko. I'm, so, I'm not going to say any more about Walking Dead. I know it's upsetting. I don't want to bring a tear to your eye. But, yeah. <laughs> oh, did I say Spongebob or Candy Cane? 
Oh, sorry, Liam. It's uh, Patrick with Candy Cane. <laughs> uh, Rage Cap, it, it was in the box. What, for £4? Oh my gosh, what an absolute bargain. Ah, great. Would you ever go to Funko HQ from Simon? Oh my gosh, Simon, I would love to go to Funko HQ. Uh, it's in America, but I don't know where about it is in America. Is it in Washington? I don't think it's in Washington, is it? I'm not too sure. But uh, do you know what? It'd be one of my dream trips to go to, uh, Washington HQ. Because I think you can make your own pop there as well. And that would be absolutely awesome to do. And just to walk around there. If you see the videos on YouTube about Funko HQ, the place looks epic. I mean, they've got like giant size Funko Pops. And they've got like um, Harry Potter land with all the Funko Pops around and the Star Wars land. And it just looks really, really good. My spinning plate, it just keeps stopping at the moment. I do not know what's wrong with it. Uh, Lil, in Sweden, the standard pops are about 9 to 20 euros each. 9 to 20 euros. I don't know how much that is in the UK. About 15 quid, I think. So that's not a bad price, actually, Lil. Um, Sweden as well. I guess that's where you're from, uh, Sweden. Never been to Sweden before. I'd love to go myself. Um, 9 to 20 euros. It's not, not a bad price. Uh, Kane, someone is selling... The Undertaker on the marketplace of five pounds on eBay. Someone put it on for 80 pounds on bid. Oh my gosh, wow, the Undertaker's going for that much, is it? I I had no idea. I know he's uh, he's left WWE now, isn't it? I think. But Undertaker for 80 pounds, oh my gosh. Canada, I think, from Dan Williams. Uh, what, the Funko HQ is from Canada? I, I think Funko HQ is in America. I'm sure it is. I might be wrong. There might be one in Canada. Uh, gone from 118 to 50 pops now. I have bought three pops this week also from Liverpool Funko. Oh, do you know what? In no time you're going to get all your Funko pops back. I know you will. And you can't resist it, can you? From 118 to 50 pops. How crazy is that? It's like getting rid of all my collection and going to like 10 or 15. I just couldn't do it. Um, I think Funko, uh, Liverpool Funko sent me a message the other day on, on YouTube saying, would I, would I ever sell it on my Funko Pops and just buy like a couple of rare ones, like mega rare ones? Uh, you know, it's a thought that came from my mind um, last year, I think, but I just couldn't do it, I don't think. I, I just... No, I just don't, I mean, I'd like to do it and get like really, really rare one, like Headless Ned Stark would be awesome. But um, no, I just don't know. I don't know. Hagrid, you're a wizard, Harry. Uh, disappears with magic. Hell nah. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Is the Jeffrey Pop your second most expensive pop? Because there's quite expensive pop online. Um, uh, well, no, mm, let me think. Uh, my most expensive one is the Freddy Funko just here. My second most expensive pop is probably Headless Herschel. My third one is probably Rob Stark, I think. And my fourth one, I don't know. I haven't got pop price. Got it. Actually, the governor, the bloody governor's on there as well. I think that's about £87 on pop price guide. And um, the giraffe, the Jeffrey the giraffes are going for about... Fifty pounds, I think. So they are quite expensive. Um, really cool looking pops as well. Anyone got faker Funko pops uh, from Simon Lloyd? Anyone? Uh, I think it's, I think that meant anyone got any fake Funko pops? Uh, my sister had one, the redheaded Funko. She's got a video up that on YouTube. So please check out her channel and check out fake. I think it's just put it as um, fake or real. Uh, it's a great, great little YouTube channel actually. Uh, a great YouTube video, so please check that out afterwards. The redhead of Funko, folks. Yes, EMP is boss from Simon Lloyd. <laughs> um, cool, he has risen in value now from Simon Lloyd. Yeah, it, I don't know what Funko Pop you're talking about, actually, Simon. I do apologise, and I'm, I'm going through quite a lot of messages now. Um, which one are you talking about? I know I got him before he was voted. Oh, sorry, Rich, I forgot which Funko Pop you're talking about. Which one are you talking about? Uh, where did you get the spinning stand from, from William? Um, I can answer that question. Uh, I got the Will William, I got the spinning stand from eBay. Um, it was about £10, £12, I think. It's an all right one. Uh, it runs off batteries and 
I think I might get a better one in the future. This one's a little bit noisy as well, and it's a bit clunking. And it's a cheap one, really, so I might spend a bit more on it and get a bit of better one. It's a He-Man pop and going very high in price from Dan Williams. Ah, right. Right, I see. Right, okay. Faker, that is. Oh, Faker or Faker? Faker. Uh, probably Faker, in there. It can't be the other word. Faker, Funko Pop. I haven't got Faker. I haven't got any of that Funko Pop, actually. It was the Groot, wasn't it? She got that was fake. Yes, Rach, you're absolutely right. It was the Groot fake Funko Pop my sister got. Yeah, and she's put it on YouTube. She had two uh, Groot Funko Pops. And she's shown me the difference between a fake one and a real one. Uh, it's, it's quite interesting to find out. And I don't get why people sell fake Funko Pops. I mean, I know they're trying to make money, but it just ruins it from the rest of us. Imagine receiving a fake Funko Pop. It'd be terrible. The Undertaker. Oh, Rachel, oh, I understand now. The Undertaker. Um, he is from the Master of the Universe. I'm Simon. Oh, awesome. Uh, Liam, I watched a video of your sister and the batteries ran out on it. And she had to do it by hand. Oh, to Liam, I watched that earlier. Yeah, she like spinning the plate by her hand. She said, the batteries ran out. I spin it by hand. Oh, it's so funny. Made me giggle. Uh, yeah, Faker, it's a cool pop. Never, ne do you know what? I had no idea what the faker pop is. I it beats me. I mean, I don't even watch the Masters of the Universe when it even came out on TV. He Man, I guess, yeah. And um, now I'm not really a big fan myself, but faker. I know the Masters of the Universe. I think there have been something's happened to the distribution on Masters of the Universe at the moment with He Man. I think I think I remember seeing it on Facebook earlier. Would you buy any Star Wars pops like? Mace, Windu, Kit, Fist, Do, or Obi-Wan from Liam. Um, I had no idea about any of their names apart from Obi-Wan. Uh, no, I won't be, actually. I'm not a massive fan of Star Wars. I mean, I might watch it when it's on TV, but I'm not a big collection. And the Star Wars, they've got like 150 Funko Pops, and I'm like, damn, that's going to fill up these cabinets if I get them Funko Pops in my collection. So I'm not going to get and go nowhere near the Star Wars collection. And there's too many out there. You get them anywhere. You get them from like Sainsbury's in the UK and Tesco Star Wars. So I'm not a big fan myself. Would you be getting them, Liam? So I don't think I will. Um, Kieran, I've been searching a lot uh, on Smith's Toy Story Store, uh, Toy Stores, GameStop, Forbidden Planet, and so many stores, but still can't get my hands on Captain Marvel Chase. I refuse to pay more than standard price for a chase. Oh, good on you, dude. Well done. I mean, you could pick them up from probably eBay, but you'd be paying. 20, 25 quid. Keep your eye out. Do you know what? If I do find one, Kieran, and I'll say this on here, if I do find a Marvel chase, Captain Marvel chase, um, I will let you know, okay? But I haven't seen no chases in the wild for some time now. I've been to a few shops last week. I didn't see any chases in there. Have you got any movie moments pops? Movie moments pops I've got in my collection is probably the, if you class it as a movie moment, Jurassic Park ride. No, I don't think that's a movie moment, is it? Um, movie moment. Movie moment. Guys, you've got to help me out on this one. You know what you got. You know what i got in my collection. I can't think of any movie moment pops. Can you see any movie moment pop, pops above? You're going to say one now, aren't you? And what are you going to stump me? But I can't see. You know, I'm not too sure if I've got any. I don't think I have. I know my sister has, but I don't think I have. Uh, Luna with glasses is one that gets faked a lot from Rach. Does she really? Does she get faked a lot, does she? Because I've never seen that Funko Pop go fake. I mean, I know that, um, I know that the Funko, Freddy Funko, like the uh, Statue of the Liberty, gets faked a lot. But I've never seen that one get faked. I found the Captain Marvel chase in my local Smiths for £9.99. Jordan, you are going to wind up someone else on here. He really wants that Captain Marvel pop. Um, that is great price. £9.99 for chasing and Smiths toys. Great job. I mean, I've never found no chase in Smiths toys in a long time. So great, great job, man. Has anyone seen that they uh, meme uh, where they got a Jedi robe and put it on the Rhine and instead of Obi-Wan Kenobi, they said... Obi Wine Kenobi. <laughs> I've never seen that. I've never seen that. That'd be pretty cool to watch, though, Liam. Uh, I got it for fifteen pound in Mankind. So that's from Kane. So there are out there to find the chases. 
It's just you've got to keep searching for them. Um, no, I haven't seen any for a while. I ordered the nightmare before Christmas movie moment. Oh, great, Dan. That is a great, great one. That's with Jack Skellington and Sally, I think, isn't it? On like, I can't remember what they are. They're like on a graveyard or something. I think I've seen that. It's a big pop though. I mean, they're big pops. The movie moments are huge. Also like the 10 inch pops as well. They take up so much space. I mean, if you can see above here, the Dobby, I mean, that is like massive. And I got like the throne there and the Ezra and the buggy. They take up so much space. I'm not a big fan of 10 inch myself. Uh, have you seen the Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse film? I really like it and I'm hyped on the Avengers Endgame. I think, Liam, I think you said this before, actually, the Spider-Man. Uh, I haven't watched that yet. What film have I watched recently? Do you know what? I haven't watched any films, but I've been uh, watching loads of series on like network Netflix. Just finished uh, a few weeks ago with The Umbrella Academy. That was a pretty cool series. If anybody's watched The Umbrella Academy, it is pretty cool. Uh, Liverpool Funko, new Star Wars celebration pops have just dropped. Wow, oh, ah, there you go, folks. Heard from the Liverpool Funko. Um, he said the new Star Wars has just dropped. I had no idea about that. I don't follow it, but he knows more than me. I want the Harry entering platform nine and three quarters movie moment. Rach, I seen that the other day in Smith's Toys, actually. Um, if you still want it, drop me a message on uh in instagram and if i could see it in my smith's poise i'll send it to you not a problem at all but uh yeah i, I did see that on there actually i'm not quite sure the price but what i would do if i'm in there i'll take a picture and i'll send it to you on instagram have you seen the new game of thrones pops yet in the uk it's the pop that has the characters on the iron throne from jordan yeah i've seen them actually i seen one the other day in um where did i see it in game in the uk and uh, it was with Tyrion lannister on the throne and it was £35.99p. I think, oh my God, imagine, I mean, there's about six of them. I mean, you're spending like 200 quid on like six Funko Pops. It's crazy money. Um, they look okay. I mean, I do like them and I probably would be getting them for my collection because of course I want to finish my Game of Thrones collection, even though they cost an arm and a leg to finish. Um, but I'm not a big fan of the Thrones with the carrots on top. But I just think that, yeah. I just think that Funko's did a fast one there and they started making them all to sell them and get loads of money from them. What do you think, Jordan? Have you got them? Uh, wow, well, we can get you... Wow, well, we've... Where can you get the Star Wars ones from? I'm not too sure, Simon. I'm not too sure where you can get the new ones from. I've been watching The Crown on Netflix. Oh, awesome, Rich. I've never watched that yet. If you're an admin, do you just... Do you get rid of personal questions? Um, I'm sure you can. Yeah, Liam. Yeah, just by, if you're an admin, just literally click on their name, whoever sent me a message, and just say delete. And just said deleted from admin, I guess. So Liam, I definitely would add you next time. You'd be an admin for sure. Kane, I have the 10 inch Porg, and I have the tests. So I am asking my parents if I can get the 10 inch Thanos. Oh, great. Oh, you got tests coming up. Oh, great job. Uh, 10 inch pork, yeah, I've seen that in Smith's Toys actually. It's huge, isn't it? It's massive. I mean, if I was a Star Wars fan myself, that would be a pop I would definitely want to get. And uh, a 10 inch Thanos too. I haven't seen that anywhere in any shops, but man, that is one hell of a cool looking pops. Um, folks, it, like I said, I'm going to be reading all these messages coming down. If I am a bit behind, I am sorry. If you don't mind us giving me a thumbs up as well below, I'd be much appreciated. Um, I've got 11 thumbs up, which is so cool. But if I can reach the 15, that would be even more better for myself. So for some reason, my parents let me watch Deadpool 2 and it's funny as hell. Oh, Deadpool 2, that is a really funny movie. You're definitely right about that one. Um, I watched that actually last night. It was on Sky Movies. So it is a pretty cool movie. I mean, I didn't watch it all. I've watched it about four times here and there. But yeah, it's, it's a funny movie. I got a 10 inch Thanos. It's a cool pop from Simon. Oh, awesome. It is a pretty cool pop, isn't it? I've seen it on Facebook. It is a massive pop, but like I keep saying about all the 10 inch pops. Um, but yeah, well, nice one, Simon. And I like the Spider Man in Spider Buggy from Simon. Um, Spider Buggy. Oh, the uh, pop ride, I think it is, isn't it? Spider Buggy. Yeah, I've seen that. Yeah, it does look pretty cool. 
Um, I love your Daryl Dixon on the motorbike. Yes, 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 yes. He is an ace looking pop. That is a Daryl Dixon on the motorbike step there. I think I paid, I don't know, £25 for him, I think, in the Forbidden Planet International, I think, if I remember rightly, uh, when he first came out. He looks cool, doesn't he? I like him a lot. I'm going to stand about here, I think, so you guys can see some of my Funko Pops. Uh, or shall I stand over here? I'll stand over here. Uh, and Woody on the remote control, Simon, oh yeah, I would love to get the Woody in the remote control one. That does look an epic pop. Um, I got the Ultra Zord, the 10-inch Ultra Zord from Simon Lloyd. Oh man, oh how cool. That was in um, the Entertainer the other day actually. I think that was like 39.99. I think that was right, around that price. It's an expensive pop, um, but it does look epic. I mean, I picked it up and it was like, poof, it was huge, a massive box on it. Uh, Liam, it's okay, the best YouTuber must take your time. <laughs> Liam, I'm not the best YouTuber. Uh, far from it, dude. I wish I was. I'd love to be up there with all the big names, but I don't think I would. It's going to take me many years to get up there with the big names. And I don't even think I'm that good, to be honest. I mean, you watch some YouTubers out there and they've got some amazing collections and they're like, the way they come across and talk and edit their videos, it's just awesome. And I don't think I'm anywhere near that yet. But much appreciated though for saying that. The 10 inch pork is 20 pounds on Smith's from Kane. Oh, wow, cool. 10 inch pot for 20 quid. Can't go bad with that. Uh, Jordan, I haven't seen them yet because I'm in the Northern Ireland and we, and we get pops really late. Want the Jon Snow on the Iron Throne or the White Walk on the Dead Horse? Oh yeah, the White Walk on the Dead Horse. That does look like a really cool looking pop actually. Has anyone else seen these fungal pops with the White Walk on the Dead Horse or the Thrones as well? They look really, really cool. I mean, the, the, where can you get that pop from on the, on the horse? Because I want that finger pop. Uh, they need to make the dragons from the Game of Thrones in 10-inch. Oh, wow. That, didn't they have, haven't they? What do you call it, a 10-inch pop? The, I got one up here, actually. I got it for my sister for Christmas. I don't think that's 10-inch, but it would be epic if it did. Uh, one of my faves is White Tiger Zord. Oh, great choice, Simon Lloyd. Uh, my collection is worth, hang on a minute, Let me... my collection, this is from Dan Williams, my collection is worth £9,543 and 450 items I need to stop. Damn! You want a 10k? Are you, you what? I mean, what Funko Pops have you got, Dan? That is, oh, Dan. Send me a picture on Instagram, dude. Please, just Funko UK guy on Instagram. Send me a picture of your collection. I would love to see that 10K collection. In my collection on Pop Directory, I think I'm up to about 3,300. Mark, 334. 9, 9 9,500. Wow, we've done. Awesome. Ah, my wife is on. Hannah, how's things? You must be checking me out at work. Hope you're not around with all your workmates because they're going to take the mick out of me when they see me. Oh, wow. Can you order the porch online, mate? The porch? I'm not quite sure what the porch is. You've got to let me know about that one, Simon. I haven't been well today. I'm ill and the stream made me cheer up. Ah, oh, Liam, much appreciated. I hope you feel better uh, soon, dude. It's horrible when you feel ill. Uh, well, cool collection from Simon Lloyd. Yeah, I'm, my collection's pretty cool. I, I, I take pride in my collection and I do like it a lot. I mean, if I had a Simon like what he's... It, the one bit... He went, Dan, Dan Williams, £9,500 for a collection. Damn. Hi, long time. No talk from Foxy Fan Lover. Foxy Fan Lover, how is things tonight? Uh, thank you so much for joining my live channel tonight. I've been going live for about an hour and five minutes now. I'm probably going to go on as long as I can until my mouth goes all dry and I need a drink. I didn't bring up my drink this afternoon. It is downstairs, but uh, let's carry on and go and show you folks. So um, they have the Professional Crawl Funko Pop NYCC exclusive with Voldemort's head on the back of his head in Smith's Toys that, and the Deadpool, uh, Mermaid Deadpool from Kieran. I've seen the Mermaid Deadpool in uh, Smith's Toys, but I haven't seen the other one. So cool. Guys, check out Smith's Toys. Thank you so much, Kieran, for letting everyone know that. It's an addiction from Simon Lloyd. Oh, tell us about it. It's definitely an addiction, Funko Pops. 
I mean, my wife, every time the doorbell rings, she's like, what's this box? I'm like, it's a fungal pop. You know, it's like every day it's a box coming my way. So it's definitely an addiction. Uh, slowly but surely, you'll make it like PewDiePie. <laughs> yeah, Liam, you make me laugh. Wow, PewDiePie's got like, well, how many? It's got like 45 million subscribers or something stupid. It's the highest on YouTube. No chance. I, I, do you know what? I wouldn't want to be that, that high on YouTube. It'd just be crazy. Be, you go on a live chat, there'd be like 10,000 people chatting to you at once. You wouldn't be able to talk to everybody. If I have a little chat like this, 10 people in the room, I'm chatting to everybody. Everyone's getting their questions in and I'm answering it all. I think that's better. I mean, you'd be writing to PewDiePie and you would never even write back. You wouldn't even say anything back because there'd be too many messages coming up and down. Who is your favourite Funko you YouTuber apart from you and your sister from Simon? Oh, do you know what? I've got some great YouTubers. I mean, I like the small YouTubers. Great question there, Simon. I mean, I like, um, I like Jimmy Barnes. Project Pops is on here too. Uh, of course, my sister, the redheaded Funko. She's a great YouTuber. I've been watching recently, actually, um, Zach um, Outson, I think his name is, about how he sneaks into places. And do you know what? I'm, it's a really cool thing to do. It's a good, good little watch there as well. Zach Out, uh, I think his name's Zach Outson. He's pretty cool. I mean, uh, who else? Who else? Who else? Do you know what? I just I haven't really got a favourite YouTuber. I just literally just keep skipping through them all and watching anybody, really. I haven't got an amazing YouTuber I watch. Um, it's whatever catches my fancy. Foxy fan level. Oh, hi. <laughs> Matthew Humphrey. Hi, Funko UK guy. I like your new Star Wars pops. I like the new Star Wars. I like the new Star Wars pops. Oh, cool, Matthew. I mean, I'm not a big fan myself, but I know they do look good. If you're a big fan of Star Wars, they do look really cool. Uh, so many will do. <laughs> Dan Williams. Has anyone watched... Um, it's from Liam. Anyone watch Back Bakugan? It's an awesome series. I've started watching it. Plus, I'm gone for a second. I've never watched. Anybody watch Bakugan? I've never watched Bakugan. Um, got unmasked Vader Pop in B&M for £5. It's worth £90 according to Funko App. Damn, Jordan, that is a hell of a price. £5 for a £90 pop. I mean, I know the new Funko Pop app. I mean, I've, I've downloaded a new app, the Funko app, um, to sort of take over Stashpedia. It's wiped all my Funko Pops out. I mean, I can't even add anything to it. It's just like, what the hell is going on? And the prices as well are all over the place on there at the moment. So please don't trust that. I mean, it might be £90. I don't want to burst your bubble. It might be £90. But uh, it's a big, good chance it probably isn't. It, uh, I don't know. It may be. It may be. Um, Simon Lloyd, the Umbrella Academy looks amazing. Only saw first episode. Simon, please check out uh, Umbrella Academy. It is a great series to watch. This has just stopped again. Um, yeah, I've watched them all in about three days. I watched every episode. It's really, really good. And the ending is really cool too. And I'm sure it's going to follow on to the next series. Have you seen the new John Wick trailer? Have got the new John Wick pop and chase. The new John Wick trailers came out? Where, where have I been? I have not seen a new trailer yet. I mean, I love John Wick. I've got the chase version up here. And I got the common one just there as well. I love John Wick. Whenever it's on TV and I'm just bored chilling out on my phone, answering questions to people. Uh, I just like, John Wick's on TV. Go and check that out whilst I'm doing uh, messaging and Facebook and Instagram and all the other little bits and bobs. What's your sister's channel called? I uh, give the channel a follow. Always happy to support the community from Kieran. Great. That's amazing. She would absolutely love that. Just say to her, uh, go to her channel, folks. This is quite interesting. This would be fun. Go to her channel and just say you're from the Funko UK guy. Or I don't know how people put it. Um, Funko UK, I don't know, Funko UK guy sent me. Uh, the name is the Redheaded Funko. Type in YouTube, Redheaded Funko. And she'd be much appreciated. She's a great lady just like myself. That sounds weird. I'm not a lady. But yeah, she's a great lady. Uh, so yeah, check out her channel. It's the Redheaded Funko. Surprise people, I'm back from Leon Downs. Um, I read the Umbrella Academy comic books. 
Oh, Rach, have you? Is it as good as the series? Have you watched the series? Because it is really good, the series. Uh, Jordan, do you know what? I've just caught up in all my messages. How cool is that? I got 15 likes as well, folks. I've been on for an hour and 10 minutes. If you don't mind smashing that like button, I'll be much appreciated all the newies, newbies who came on. There are some great new people on tonight, so thank you so much. Uh, when are you going to your next Funko Pop hunt? Um, I would, you know what? Uh, Jordan, it's just getting around to it, dude. I love going to Funko Pop hunting. It's just getting around to doing it. So um, if I don't do one, and uh, I will do one in Wales Comic Con. I'll be going there next month. I'm hopefully doing one before that. So I've just caught up on all my messages. La la, how amazing. Epic, right. Anybody else got any questions or anything about my Funko Pops? Anybody want me to get any Funko Pops down? If I want to talk about myself, how long I've been YouTuber for, anything like that, just leave a message below. I watched the first episode, need to watch the rest, and the TV show is better than the comics. Oh, great, okay, yeah, I really like the TV series. Uh, uh, I can't remember his name. Um, but he's such a great character. Uh, he's so funny as well. So if you haven't watched that series, The Umbrella Academy, uh, it's so cool. It is so funny. It's a good watch. Uh, get all your pops down from Liam. <laughs> I can imagine that. Imagine that. To throw them all on the bed. No, I won't be doing that, unfortunately, Liam. <laughs> get all your pops down. That'd be so cool. That'd be such a funny video, actually, wouldn't it? Like, I'm just like fed up with Funko Pops. Don't want them no more. From this forum everywhere. People will be kicking off on that video. I put on the video caption like the thumbnail. Uh, Funko trash or something. And throw them on the floor. Imagine that. Just imagine that. That'd be so epic, wouldn't it? I mean, I would never do that. Anybody got any more questions for myself there, Funko UK guy? Before I shoot off, I've been on for one hour and ten minutes. And I'm not going to go on for much longer. I have no idea what the time is. What is the time? 8.30. 8.30 at night. Oh, my God. It's past my bedtime. Uh, I'm so late from Bailey Boo Bonson. You're never too late. It's great to see you on here. Thank you so much for checking my channel out tonight. Uh, thoughts on the new Toy Story 4 trailer? Jordan, do you know what? I asked this earlier, actually. As I asked earlier, has anybody watched this trailer? I'm really disappointed in the trailer. And I mean, you might really like it, Jordan, but I did, it just didn't fit in at the moment. I mean, that spork, I mean, what the hell is it? I mean, I mean, it could be like really funny. I mean, I love all the rest of the Toy Stories. They traded to me. I just couldn't get into it. I mean, I might watch it a few other times just to see if I do like it. But what is your thoughts, Jordan? What do you think of the new Toy Story 4 trailer? Uh, Matthew, hi, do you own some gold pops? Good question, Matthew. Thank you so much. I'll just uh, make that a bit better. Uh, no, I have got no gold pops in my collection, I don't think. I've got a chrome. I did have the gold SpongeBob, but uh, unfortunately I got scammed out of that. Um, but that's the only gold one I had. I mean, there was there have been a lot of gold um, Funko Pops come out recently, like the, uh, like the Marvel range. The Marvel's got some great gold pops, but I'm just not really, not really a thing that I'll get. <laughs> you need to be like, it's from Liam, you need to be like, oh guys, I need a video, so I'm at throw all my pops from my collection. <laughs> I'm actually that, yo guys, check out my video. That'd be epic. <laughs> uh, uh, Bailey Boo Bonson, sorry, was out, just popped in. Oh, great. Well, I'm much appreciated for checking out my channel tonight, Bailey Boo. I'm on a roll now. I'm on a roll. Uh, Rach, it's next to the Ghost Rider and the bike. Which one are you talking about there, Liam? Not too sure. Bailey Boo, thank you so much for checking out my channel. I'll see you later. Uh, what year did you start collecting from Liam? Start collecting. It got, it was about November, uh, not last year, not year, but two and a half years ago I started collecting actually. And literally I started off with just one Funko Pop, which is this one here, Alien Queen. My first ever Funko Pop, the Alien Queen. And then from then on, kept buying more and more and more. But yeah, about two and a half years ago I started collecting. Uh, Toy Story 3 from Jordan was a perfect ending. Don't think we needed a Toy Story 4. 
Jordan, do you know what? I think you hit the nail on the head then. Um, I don't think they need a Toy Story 4. I mean, the Toy do you know what? I think they made a Toy Story 4 to boost the Toy Story land in America. That's probably what they did. They need to get more people into Toy Story. But then again, who needs to... I mean, everyone's watched Toy Story, surely. I mean, the Toy Story 1, 2, 3 are really good. Uh, with lots of, and, you know, all them characters. But did they need to do a Toy Story 4? I mean, if think of another idea to do. I'm sure there's, like, the animations in Pixar. And they've probably got loads of stories out there. But what do you need to do Toy Story 4? Um, John Z Travels. John Z? John Z Travels, maybe? Hiya, are you picking up any ECC pops? I'm ordering... Gordon Grishnak, I think his name is, from Lord of the Rings. And I want higher pop, but missed out. Oh, do you know what? Yeah, a lot of people are looking for that. Uh, if I say it wrong, I'm sorry. Grishnak, Funko Pop. Um, yeah, I have seen that, and I won't be buying that myself. I'm not a Lord of the Rings fan. But Aya Stark, yeah, you got to watch this space. I might be on my way. It's a shame that you missed out. I did come up on Double Box Toys. Aya Stark, I think they sold out now. It might go on pop culture, so keep an eye out on pop culture. Uh, Liam, I have a gold Iron Man for celebration of 10 years, and we're on about the half pop. Oh, the half pop! Oh, yeah, that was a fun video, wasn't it? The half pop, the drag, uh, Carl Drogo. Look at that. <laughs> Such a clean cut, straight through his body. I mean, do you know what? It's quite good that I missed sort of this leg because I could stand up now. But that is what's inside a uh, Funko Pop, folks. And do you know what? I might even buy some Fortnite Pops to do this to and then slice them in half to see what they look like and maybe join them together. Eh, how cool would that look video be? Cut a Funko Pop in half and join it with another Funko Pop. There you go, guys. Whoever's a YouTube out there, that's a video for you. I might do that. I put that Funko Pop there, that's the Carl Drogo, in half, poor chap. Um, I'm back, Funko Pro uh, Project Pops is back. Oh my gosh, Project Pops, I've been doing this video for an hour and 15 minutes now, folks. 15 likes as well, how awesome. And Noah's Collection, thanks for joining my channel tonight. How is everything? I am absolutely great, thank you so much for joining in. What made you start YouTube? Uh, Jordan. Um, that is just, you know, nobody's asked me that question before, Jordan, so thank you so much. What made me start a YouTube channel? Um, I don't know, to be honest. I mean, I think I was just sitting downstairs and I'm thinking, I just got scammed by a Facebook user. I think I should start telling somebody, but how do I start telling somebody? And I think I did the video and then I shown off my Funko Pot collection and it just started off from then. And, um, they, yeah, there was literally no reason why I did it. I just thought, oh, i just put my videos out there, see how it goes. Then all of a sudden, people started commenting and liking my videos. So I thought I'd do more and more and more. Um, but, yeah, that's sort of how I started. That is a really good question, Jordan. Thank you so much. If you have no monies left because you spend it all on pops, we all know you're to blame. The Red Headed Funko is just joking. <laughs> that's from Leon Downs. Uh, Vincent Cock is back! Oh my gosh, Vincent, I didn't expect you to be back. Nice to see you. Uh, Rage Kappa, I missed out on the Harry Potter 3 pack, but I'm sure I'll get it. Rage, no way! I can't believe you missed that out. That was everywhere. I think that was coming up. Have you checked Double Box Toys? I am sure they've still got it on there. I'm sure I've seen that earlier on there. Go and check Double Box Toys out, folks. Uh, Julian Clifford, so cool. Thank you so much. Uh, I'm finally out of work, lol. Oh, Project Port Pops, awesome. And I can't believe you're back as well. Uh, create a new playlist, new ideas for Funko YouTubers. Yeah, that is pretty cool, hey? I think I should do that. Maybe, what, do you think I should make the videos? I don't know. That's a pretty cool idea, though. What do you like? Do you like YouTube from Julian uh, Clifford? Do I like YouTube? Yeah, YouTube is a great platform. I mean, I've met so many friends on here. So many people have messaged me on Instagram and just kept in contact away from YouTube. It's been amazing. It really has been amazing. I've had a lot of fan mail as well. A lot of people sent me fan mail. And I am just, you know, ecstatic, really. Every time I get a fan mail through the post and it's like a Funko Pop in there or a letter, 
I've got letters down here as well. And I've got Funko Pops and daubs and, and keychains and, and like plush toys from like fan mail. It's been absolutely amazing. <laughs> I like turtles. <laughs> uh, do you like your show? Uh, I'll have to have a look at them. Yeah, Rich, yeah, check out over to Double Box Toys. Really good company. Have you ever had anything off Double Box Toys? Yes, Kane. It's good that you said that. I've just made a video um, and I'll be editing it and that should be coming out very shortly. And that was from Double Box Toys. Uh, I'll, uh, oh my God, I can't stop looking at your pops. Awesome. <laughs> to Vincent, thank you so much. Uh, much appreciated. Uh, I know this is cringe, but can you dab? I don't know how to dab. Do you dab like, I don't know, something like that? Kick, kick. I don't know. I don't look like I'm more of a swan than a dab. <laughs> how stupid was that? I just look like an idiot. If anybody screen Matt Scott, if anybody screenshotted that, I'd put it on my Instagram message. Oh my God, that is terrible. <laughs> I added you on Instagram, by the way, and I am your 200th follower. Amazing. Do you know what? I have no idea how many followers I've got on Instagram. So 200. Oh my gosh, I didn't even know I had that many. <laughs> I crap, I can't open my chocolate waffles. Uh, close enough, yeah. I don't know, something like that. I'm not very good at dabbing. Or I think that's the one with the legs. So I don't know. Uh, what was your first ever pop vinyl? Last question for me. Good to chat with you, uh, Jordan. Honestly, ask me any question. It's not a problem at all. Uh, it's great to chat with you too, uh, Jordan. This is my first Funko Pop I ever got in my collection. This was free. This was the Alien Queen, and uh, this is from my sister. And she gave me this as just a present. She had a spare one. She's like, do you want this? And I was like, yeah, it's pretty cool. I'll have it. Do you know what? <sighs> I wish I never even got it off her now because look at the collection behind. That is my first Funko Pop. The second Funko Pop, the, the first one I bought for myself was the Iron Man. It's in this corner here. I just moved the camera. You could just about see it with my Disney wallpaper, folks. Um, but this is the Iron Man just here. That was my first ever Funko Pop I bought. Um, I think he was about eight pounds I got him from, from Facebook. Uh, yeah, so that was, my, that was my first ever one I bought and my first ever one I got given was the Alien Queen. Uh, I need to film three videos, two are Funko related videos. Oh, Rach, yeah, go and do it. I've got to check yours out. You've got awesome content. You interested in any of the ECC pops? I'll be getting the Lord of the Rings pops for my collection. I'm interested in Arya Stark Funko Pop. That's the only one I'm interested in, Liverpool Funko. Um, and that could be coming my way shortly. You've got to check out my channel to find out. But that is the only one I'm interested in. And you're interested in the, I'll be getting the Lord of the Rings pop. Oh, awesome. It's a great pop. I think someone was saying that about that earlier, actually. The Alien Queen looks weird because she doesn't look like a Funko Pop. Yeah, do you know what? You're probably right though, actually. That does not look like a Funko Pop, does it? You are right. You hit the nail on the head on that one. That don't look like a Funko Pop, but yeah. Well, the stream is almost empty. Oh, I love that wallpaper. Uh, yeah, it's a cool looking wallpaper, isn't it? That's the Disney wallpaper. <laughs> Hi, Funko Fox fans. Okay then, folks. Well, today it's going to be uh, going to be over now. I've got about 15% left on my phone, so I haven't got long to chat with you guys. I mean, I'll have to be on for much longer, but of course my mouth's gone all dry. Um, I need a break from YouTube. Uh, there's a couple more questions, I think, before I shoot off. One is what Walking Dead pops they need to make. Uh, what, walk, what Walking Dead pops do they need to make? From Rach. Do you know, Rach, I think we were chatting about this the other day, actually. Um, I think we need to make the Alpha Pop with our like mask taken off and put back on again. That would be a pretty cool pop to have. And also, the Walking Dead range. Um, more zombies. More zombies, I think. So they need to make an epic looking zombie on The Walking Dead and then release that as a Funko Pop, just like they've done with the Bicycle Girl, RV Walker, Burnham Walker, Prison Guard Walker. So I need to do more of them, I think, and the Well Walker as well. 
It's impressive how they get the shape. That sounds weird. <laughs> it certainly does, Liam. Oh, God, what happened then? That's weird. There you go, back on again. That was like right to my face. Nobody wants to see my face up close. They should make pop wallpaper. Kane, there you go. Take it to Dragon's Den. Pop wallpaper. What chase do you wish you had from Tom Smith? That is a great question. What chase do you wish you had? I wish I had the older version chases. Uh, like the 1 out of 36 Funko Pop Chase instead of the 1 in 6. So the older version Funko Pop Chases. And I can't think of what they are in the Chases, but I left have an older version. So an accessorized pop. Technically difficulties. Like your Mickey Mouse pictures. Oh yeah, Rach, yeah, I just spun it around quickly and my Mickey Mouse, mini Mickey Mouse is on. This is my Mickey Mouse Disney room with my Funko Pops. My wife's room with all her Disney stuff. She's got like books over there, pins and uh, loads of stuff. This is my pop wall just here. Hey, we got a little room tour <laughs> from Liam. <laughs> right then folks, well, it, I've been on for an hour and a half. I've got 18, 18 mega likes. So folks, thank you so much for them great likes. I'm not a big like uh, got it, got it. Like my channel, you got to like my channel. But it's awesome to see these likes dropping in. Much appreciated. Um, and just like, thank you so much to the people who stay with me on all my live videos. I mean, there's people on here who are stuck on for like an hour and a half. Liverpool Funko, Liam Downs, Vincent Cog, um, Rach Kappa, uh, loads of people. And I just want to say thank you so much for sticking around and giving me so much support. Like I always say in all my videos. Much appreciated and thank you for giving me all the support. If it weren't for you, I would probably give up by now and said, well, oh, bugger this, I'm not even going to do YouTube. But it's great to do it. It's great to get loads of comments back. It's just awesome. Thank you so much. So, of course, I'm going to say goodbye now. And thank you so much again. I hope you all have a great, great night. And like I said, before I shoot off, there's only one thing for me to say. Hope you all have a good day. Hope you have a good night.